Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaude RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Thanks for joining me today. I'm excited to show off a brand new floor plan from Jayco. It's a Jayfeather 26RL, that's rear living room. This is a true couples camper. It's about 32 feet long, a little over 6,000 pounds. So it's not a tiny unit, but it's also not huge. It's half ton towable. If you're not sure, as always, whether your truck can safely tow it, give us a call. We'll look it up and confirm how much you can safely tow. Let's do a little walk around on the outside before we go on on the inside. We have fiberglass sidewalls, and this is significant with Jayco in particular. This is Asdell fiberglass exterior. These are vacuum bonded fiberglass walls. Think of it as a giant food saver for a, for a, for a, for a RV wall. It distributes all the adhesive out and really minimizes the possibility of ever delaminating over the lifetime of the coach. Lots of storage accessible out here. Pass through all the way through to the other side. You have a light here I can turn on. You have power access right here. So if you've got a golf cart out here, you need to charge or something else, lights to plug in, you can do that. And notice how it's all nicely finished out. There's not <clears throat> wires dangling down and all that kind of stuff. Really, really clean. Again, we're in a fiberglass Aztel exterior. I like all these feathers because this is a molded fiberglass front cap with marine grade LED lighting up here. I don't know if you can see them in the bright, but I can turn it on. There. Yep. So that's pretty cool at night at the campground. Pop those things on. Makes it super easy to find your camper amidst all the rest of them in a campground. We've got two propane bottles up here where it'll switch over to the other one when one is empty. And an electric tongue jack. Power up and down. So this makes leveling and hooking and unhooking a breeze. It's also lighted here too. Now we'll prep all the units before you take delivery. So the propane bottles are gonna be filled and we'll install new batteries for you before you take delivery. Coming around on this side, we have the opposite side of the pass-through storage. Magnet catches, not the little plastic things that break off like you used to see. Pass-through storage goes all the way through to the other side. The light up here as well. This is your black tank flush valve. This is something you're going to use before you store the unit or say you're not going to use your trailer for a month or two. Pop a separate hose onto there and open up your holding tank valves and just let it run. It's going to clean out the inside of your black tank. Do a nice job of keeping it clean. Coming around, we have, um, this is the vent for your refrigerator. Now this is a 50 amp coach. Even though it's not huge, we have 50 amp service, so you're not gonna be anemic on power needs. We have an outdoor shower, which is both hot and cold, and this is your main city water connection. Once you hook up here, you'll have water distributed throughout the coach on the inside. Cable satellite input, so if you're lucky enough to have cable at your campground, and many of them provide that now, hook it up here, then you'll have cable accessible inside as well as on the patio side of the unit. Stabilizing jacks on all four corners. This is a three quarter inch driver, so my advice is to get an inexpensive uh, cordless drill from Harbor Freight or someplace. Put a three quarter inch driver, zip those down. You can also use that crank that's up in front if you wanna get your exercise. It's not hard to do, but a cordless drill makes real short work of that. <clears throat> As always, Jayco is going to give you a full-size spare tire. Not only is it just a full-size spare, but it's a Goodyear. All the tires on all the Jaycos are Goodyear tires with a six-year warranty on them. That's pretty significant. As far as I know, it's the only manufacturer on the planet that puts Goodyear tires with a six-year warranty. Top that off, literally top it off, the roofing membrane of every Jayco starting in 2022 is the newest generation of Dicor, which is a 20 year warranty. So that roofing membrane's got a great warranty too. And I tell people when you're shopping, and you should, give the wheel wells the knuckle test. Go up there and do that and see what you hear or feel. In Jayco's case, it's gonna be galvanized steel. So if you ever were to pick up something on the interstate, a tread from a semi or something, it's not gonna tear up 
part of your trailer back here. It's reinforced, and that's something I wouldn't have thought to think about before I uh, took my Jacob Masters training. That's really important. Now, continuing or finishing up our tour on this side, there's a TV mount that'll go in here, so you can pop a TV on the outside. You have your power here and your cable here. So if we have cable hooked up on the utility side, now we'll have cable here and I can watch my TV programming out here. Now this is the potable water fill. This is uh, where you're gonna fill water in your fresh water tank if you're gonna be camping off grid without hookups. I recommend only putting a few gallons in this tank at a time for a trip so you can go in wash your hands, flush the toilet, what have you. No need to fill this up because you're just pulling weight unnecessarily. Uh, no, no need to fill that up unless you're gonna go off grid for a period of time. This is a six gallon direct spark ignition water heater. This runs off of propane and or electricity. You can run it off both of them at the same time if you want it to recover a little quicker. But uh, generally speaking, if you're at a campground, they have electricity, run it on electric. If you're off in the boonies and you don't, run it on propane. This is your furnace assembly right here. I recommend putting bug covers, wasp covers to keep mud daubers from going up in there and taking up housekeeping in your new RV. This is what Jayco calls a J port. So you can put a little platform in here and then there's a propane quick connect right here. So you can have a griddle or a grill outside here as well. Pretty neat. Now we have two entrances as you can see on this unit and a lot of people say, well, why is there two doors? This one goes into the bedroom. That's the main entrance into the living room. Anytime you see two doors on an RV, it, it means uh, one of a couple things. Most often when the slide comes in, it blocks access to that room from the inside. And I'll show you inside. This way, going down the road, you stop, you want to get in and get something out of the bedroom, a shirt or something, you can access the bedroom through this door instead of having to go in and push the slide out and get into this room. So that's why that, in most cases, you're gonna not use this entry that much. You're gonna use the main entry with the nicer steps. Speaking of, these are Moride step above steps, which fold in for travel. And I love them because they make good firm contact with the ground and it, and it minimizes the movement on the inside of the coach. Have a light under here. I can pop this on. You won't see it because it's daylight out here, but it's a blue light under here that looks really neat after dark. To stow these for travel, you just pop it in like so, latch that in, release that, and these legs are both adjustable for any kind of terrain that you're on. Pretty cool. I do have a screen door here, and my wife yells at me for not pointing out the screen door sometimes, so look at there, honey. It's a screen door along with what we call the margarita pass-through door. So if somebody's in there making margaritas, they can pass the drinks through there without letting all the bugs in, right? That's what I say anyway. Let's go inside and have a look. Now we're on the inside of this 26RL Feather. This is a true couples camper, like I said. What defines a couples camper? For me, no bunks, right? And it's comfortable for a couple. We have one slide, and it's not a huge slide. You can see it framed in here. It houses the dinette, the refrigerator, and a pretty abundant amount of storage with, I love these, drawers that pull out. So whether you've got boxes of cereal, canned goods, or what have you, these are ball bearing, full extension drawer glides, and so this can serve as a pantry, extra clothes, or what have you. Not to get ahead of myself, we have the rear living room here, hence the name RL, right across from the nice TV and entertainment center. So whether you're sitting at the dinette, having something to eat, I can see the TV. If I'm reclining at the end of a day of hiking through the Smoky Mountains, I've got a great viewing angle for the TV too. Now that does tilt uh, to the right and left to offer better viewing angles if you need. So this is a really, really neat floor plan that I'm falling in love with. So we'll start here and kind of work our way around. Um, this is an Insignia brand TV serviced by Best Buy, so it's a good quality TV. Down here we have a radio, a stereo, 
insert that is Bluetooth so you can pair your phone to this and push music from your phone through the speakers in the ceiling here or through the speakers out on the patio. Now I've got storage under here on either side of the radio and then behind these smoked glass inserts little shelves here and I love this because it's right next to the kitchen and I'm thinking this is going to become spice storage and stuff like that even though it is in the entertainment area uh, it's just perfect size for spices and salt and pepper and stuff like that I've got power right here so I can put a phone charger or what have you right there now moving into the galley area we have a three burner uh, cooktop with backlit controls and a nice little oven underneath this whole cooking surface lifts out for cleaning. If you want to close this for a little more prep space and just to keep it clean, you can do that. Now this is a vented range hood, so this is vented to the outside. It's also lighted. So just like home, if you're frying bacon or whatever, you can get the smells and the heat outside of the coach. Small little microwave up here. I have a power tower right here so USB charging and household current there as well looks like there's a USB-C right there as well so there's lots of uh, flexibility for how you use the power in here hooking up a coffee pot a toaster oven charging your gadgets what have you this is uh, indicative of a feather trim line with our smoked glass so we have nice cabinet storage up above now, this is true with all Jayco units um, the cabinet build is going to be top shelf and that's why um, I bought a Jayco myself in the past this is solid maple cabinet doors solid maple fronts to the drawers the cabinetry is pocket screwed and glued together and the whole assembly is then screwed to the framing members of the coach so it's solid this is a one piece molded countertop now it's not solid surface and it's also not laminate notice there's no laminate banding along here that will come popping off in time with heat or moisture it's a one piece molded top which allows Jayco to do an undermount sink residential style so we have a cutting board on one side and a strainer on the other and I really like this dry those dishes there like so high-rise gooseneck uh, uh, matte black faucet again our full extension ball bearing drawer glides down here for kitchen utensils and access to under the sink area with some additional storage down there as well as under the oven I am really in love with this backsplash. When I first saw this, it looked like real tile to me. It's not, it's actually smooth, but the 3D look makes it look real. I'm wondering what you think about it. I kind of like it, but it won't hurt my feelings if you don't like it. Drop a comment below. I'm really curious how you like this backsplash material and this kitchen design in general. Love to hear from you. Now moving back around to this side, again, we have a dinette that will drop down into a sleeping surface if you need it to. So this table will drop down onto these cleats, spread out the cushions, and we have a 74 inch sleeping surface for guests. Now, as I often like to say, whether or not you disclose the fact that this will sleep anybody else, that's up to you. You can just tell folks, hey, I'm sorry, it only sleeps too. Come over for drinks, we'll see you tomorrow. That's up to you. Either way, we have storage underneath each one of these dinette seats. Uh, what I like to do is take a clear plastic tub or baskets and put things in and push it in there. That way you can reach in, grab it, pull it out, makes it easier to get stuff. You can also lift up the seat cushion. There's a finger uh, right here, finger pull. You can pull out this whole seat base and then access items underneath the seat. There's also storage underneath each one of these um, end tables, if you will. There's a little cubby right there. USB and household current on either side. So you can be sitting here charging your gadgets while you're having a beverage and watching your favorite TV show like that. Now this is a 12 volt refrigerator. So notice there's no fins in the back. 
like you would see in a typical RV refrigerator. It's a compressor fridge. It works much like the residential fridge in your home or apartment and a nice deep uh, freezer compartment above, right? So you can, uh, in fact, dry camp in a unit like this with a 12 volt fridge. A lot of people are concerned. Uh, well, how does this keep running if I don't have power and I'm off grid? It's going to keep running from your battery or batteries if you install more than one. If you have solar, and we do, that's going to help keep your battery charged, which will in turn provide power to this and extend the amount of time you can camp off grid. I mentioned these a little bit earlier, but check this out. It goes all the way to the back outside wall with these pull-out drawers. So that constitutes the front half of the unit. Let's move toward the back. We have our thermostat right here, which controls um, just like home. Set the temperature where you want it, and you can select the mode here, um, whatever's comfortable for you. You know, a lot of people ask me what this is, and I don't point it out enough. It's a safety feature. It's a carbon monoxide and propane gas detector. So um, this is gonna go off in the event that this senses carbon monoxide or propane. It's a safety feature. There's also a smoke detector on the ceiling right above here, which has a battery in it. This is wired to the battery in your coach. This has a little nine volt battery in it. Moving into the uh, bathroom, um, one thing I can appreciate being six feet tall is the room that's in this shower. So. I've got plenty of headroom up here and plenty of room to move around even though we're not in a huge trailer. Little uh, single basin sink and a medicine cabinet so you got a place to put the toothbrush and hairspray and deodorant. I don't need hairspray, some people do. I think it's overrated myself. Uh, you got a plastic foot flush toilet right here. A lot of people ask, what's the pink stuff? Somebody put some lemonade in there. That is actually RV antifreeze. You'll see that in sinks. You'll see it in toilets often. That tells me right away, this has been winterized already. Okay. Um, little cabinet here in the corner. And then next to the toilet, we have more storage for linens, towels, and things like that, as well as down below. Plenty of leg room for me here open this I've got storage underneath the sink and some little cubbies over there for extra toilet paper and cleaning supplies and so on neat little bathroom okay here's the solar charge controller so this unit currently has 190 watt solar panel up on the roof you can add up to three solar panels on this single charge controller should you want to it just depends on how much space is available up there. I have to think there's room for two more if you wanted to really beef up on solar. You might consider adding a second solar panel if you plan to do a lot of off-grid camping. If you don't, then it's probably money not well spent. But if you're going to go off-grid, camp a lot of places where you won't have electrical power, you might appreciate having that extra solar. A lot of people ask, what does solar power? What does it do for you? Think about whatever your batteries power, that's what solar powers. Your batteries aren't gonna run your air conditioner, they won't run your microwave, but they will keep, in this case, keep your 12 volt refrigerator happy, they keep your lights on, they keep your furnace fan motor happy, it operates your slide going in and out. So again, off grid, solar's a good idea. Have an RV queen, what's that mean? It's a little bit shorter than a residential size queen bed. There's lighting up here with storage up above. There's also storage behind these smoked glass cabinet doors. And then on either side of the bed, uh, this is kind of neat. Back in there you have room to put a bottle of water. I can see that blue light that I just turned on. So that's a great night light. So at night, you don't want to blind your partner, just have enough light to get up and go use the bathroom. Just turn that on and it's enough. It's a great night light. There's a switch right here on the other side for this side as well. Again, USB ports as well as household current on either side of the bed. Now there's storage underneath the bed too and it has gas struts that will keep this uh, in the up position while you access the storage. These are two little TV tray 
inserts that go into the cup holders of the sofa up front. That's real handy, so if you just want to sit there and have some popcorn and a drink while you're watching a TV show, you can do that. And you don't lose your cup holder. You still have a cup holder even though you drop this into the cup holder. I'll take it with me up there and show you guys how it works. Plywood here, plywood under the floor, plywood on the roof structure, which is going to be true with Jayco models throughout. 4,500 pound weight rating on the roof. Um, I don't talk about that enough, but it's pretty significant. Every Jayco has a 4,500 pound roof rating. You can walk on a Jayco roof for maintenance reasons. A lot of people say, well, why do I need to walk on the roof? You won't have to very often, but if you do, you can. Also, heaven forbid if a tree limb were to fall on this unit, you might call State Farm, but not 911, right? It's just a stronger box. Now, this is neat. We have a little extra storage area behind the entertainment center, so I can hang some clothes right in here, a little closet, and then I've got actually four drawers through here. And as I often like to say, uh, Mrs. Drudge gets that, 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 and all my stuff goes in this one right here, and I'm happy. That's all I need. All right, so we have a sliding door here, so you can close this for total privacy. Pull this off, close that off, so if mom wants to sleep in, she can do that and have total privacy. Here's this little guy. I'll show you how it works before we wrap up this video. Just bring this guy up here on this side, pop it into the cup holder like that. Now, I've got an eating surface, still have a drink holder right here. Obviously one for both sides. If you don't want it, just lift it out. But that's pretty handy, I like that. So again, we're in a J-Feather 26 RL 26 rear living room. About 32 feet long, a little over 6,000 pounds. Love it. It's a couple's camper for, for, uh, that checks a lot of boxes, I think, for a lot of folks. Again, my name is Mike. You're joining me here at Vaught RV. I appreciate you watching this video all the way to the end, for starters. If you like these videos and you feel like it, and I hope you do, click like and subscribe below. We work hard to bring these videos to you. If there's a floor plan out there, particularly from Jayco, that we haven't done and you want to see a video or you have a question about a unit we've done a video on, let me know and I'll try to address it in an upcoming video and give you a shout out at the same time. Again, it's Mike from Vaught RV. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vaught RV.